future of investing might just lie with technology as automated investment services and robo-advisors promise to make investing easy, inexpensive, and maybe even a little fun. Here to tell us more about top online investment advisors is our tech expert, Nika Allen. So before we get into these companies, what is a robo-advisor? It sounds very science fiction. It's, you know, a little bit science fiction, but probably not as science fiction as you're thinking. Mm -hmm. It's really just an online wealth management service that provides an automated algorithm-based portfolio management advice. Okay. So instead of having a human there being your financial planner, it's all algorithm-based. And so that really cuts down on a lot of the price involved, which mm -hmm. makes them much lower cost. And they also have low account minimums as well because they can be much more flexible. Sure, okay, that makes sense. So you've got a few that we're gonna talk about. Let's start off with Betterment. So Betterment was founded in 2008. It's registered by the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission and it's based out of New York City. Mm -hmm. So you kind of automatically wanna trust them. But <laughs> <laughs> they also, you know, as I mentioned before, like a robo-advisor, they pr provide investment advice and diversified fully automated investment management. It's super easy to use and actually this specific platform has been called the Apple of Finance because really? they're so focused on the customer experience and user design. And so you can really see here kind of how just appealing it all looks it, and they make it really, really easy to use. They offer both taxable and tax advantaged investment accounts, including traditional Roth, Roth IRAs and other investment accounts. Mm -hmm. Currently, they're managing over 185,000 customers' wow. accounts and over 50 5.5 billion dollars in assets Ooh. so this is not some sort of new joke right. this is a serious new way of wealth management that's coming up and the algorithm that they've developed uses models like black litterman model and a modern portfolio theory as well mm -hmm. so they use all of that to kind of give you the best of both worlds and also you know make sure that you have a rich diversified portfolio and that helps you balance it out so you really don't have to do anything oh okay they also have no investment minimums and mm -hmm. they're they have tiered account fees from 0.15 percent to 0.35 percent recently something interesting about this particular company is uber one of the you know known sure. shared ride services mm -hmm. is actually offering betterment to their drivers to help kind of as an added perk or benefit to being an Uber driver, you can use Betterment for the wow. first year for free, and they're actually gonna attach it directly into the Uber backend platform for uh -huh. drivers. That's Which great. is really okay. interesting. Uber is not actually giving money to, mm -hmm. Um, you know, to help you with your portfolio, right. but they're offering it as an extra service. That's really interesting. Okay, the next uh, company we're talking about is Wealthfront. So Wealthfront, also about the same age as a pr previous company, they have $2.6 billion that they manage for people, and it started in 2008 in Palo Alto, California. It's overall very similar. Couple of big differences, though. They um, are specialized in tax loss investing, so, you know, Taxes are a huge part of investing. You can lose a, lose a ton of money, and they really specialize in this. They also manage both non-retirement and retirement accounts and also have can help you manage joint accounts and trusts, which is really interesting and unique part of that platform. So depending, you know, they're all a little bit different. It's always great to kind of figure out which one's best for you and right. your needs. Right, okay. Last but not least, we are talking about Future Advisor. So Future Advisor is actually one of the relatively newer wealth management online service providers. It's based out of San Francisco, founded in 2010. They're currently managing $600 million in assets. Okay. So a little bit less than the other two, but they but do have- they're younger as well, They're, right? they're younger, okay. exactly. And they actually have something really unique about them. They were privately invested in by Fidelity. So they are directly connected to Fidelity investments now. So it's really easy to manage across all of your Fidelity accounts wow. and use Future Advisor as your online platform. So that, you know, could be very interesting for a lot of people if they use Fidelity already or their companies use Fidelity, yeah. they can manage it all at once. And another interesting thing about this platform is they actually do free management of educational investment accounts. Wow. So if you are investing in your child's future, going to college, yeah. 
this might be a good platform for you to use. Yeah, so I mean, it really kind of seems that these reach uh, different audiences. They so do. depending on what you're wanting to do with your money, where you are in, in your life's goals and where you're at, they, they might serve a little bit better. So obviously, doing the research on these, figure out which is the right fit. Yeah, definitely always important to do the research. These are three very reputable online platforms. So, you know, maybe Regardless start of there. Where you go, you're in good hands with, with at least one of these three. Exactly. Fantastic. Nika, thank you so much. This is really interesting. Again, guys.